they're at it again. Welcome to This Week at Man United, your essential roundup of all things social media surrounding Manchester United. Uh, let's get stuck into it straight away, shall we? Because there's been another fake quote going around Twitter this week, and for some reason, people believe it. Just like, can we just make a rule? Like, if you're on Twitter, you see a tweet which is slightly controversial, just try and find a source before you retweet. Please. So Roy Keane apparently said this. You look at the lit, he's captain in Ajax at 19 years old, earning a modest wage doing it. Meanwhile, Rashford is scoring 10 goals a season, killing disabled fans in wheelchairs with his free kicks, earning 100k, and Lingard is earning 120k to be an Instagrammer. Now, as true as that may be, <laughs> it's not Roy Keane who actually said that. It's some random guy on Twitter. And I'm not being funny, but killing disabled fans in wheelchairs with his free kicks, Come on guys, switch your brain on. We know that's not true. See, I, I could make up quotes for ex-United players. I, David Beckham says that Margot Robbie is well fit. It's true, but he didn't actually say it. I am not an intelligent man. I just want to make that very clear right now. I am a thicko, and even I can see that that's nonsense. Please, we can all do better. If this idiot has a, has, has, a, has, a, has a lie sensor that can pick that one up, you can too. You can do it. In fact, following on from that, actually, another fake news story surrounding Marcus Rashford. Uh, you no doubt all saw this, and I know you did, because I saw some of you tweeting about it. Um, this story about Marcus Rashford not being sure of the direction Manchester United are heading and apparently stalling on signing a new contract. Uh, loads of people weren't happy about this and felt the need to have a go at one of our young, promising players and call him arrogant and such uh, for his obvious refusal of signing this new contract. Do you know where that story came from? The Sun. Don't need to say anything. I don't need to say anything else. That's all I need to say. But honestly, it came from the sun and everyone believed it and was directing loads of abuse at Rashford. Completely unwarranted abuse. So much so, his agent had to go on Instagram, also his brother, by the way. Oh yeah, he had to go on Instagram to confirm that the papers were talking absolute nonsense, as we all could have guessed in the first place. When there's stories about United players, no matter how much you want to believe it, just think, whether it's actually logical, okay? Right, okay, move on. Uh, yeah, sorry to remind you, but we all know what happened at the weekend, didn't we? City secured a treble, a, a, like a treble. That is a very important letter there. It's not the treble, it's a treble. They did win three trophies, fair enough, but it's like a budget treble, like we did the proper treble, all right? Stop calling it the treble. Anyway, uh, the fans were at Wembley and despite winning the FA Cup, weren't happy still. Uh, you see this video. A fan having a go at a journalist because he knows that he won't be talking about City tomorrow despite this incredible achievement. And you know what? The fan does have a point, actually. Um, the newspapers weren't talking about City too much the day after. They still had lots of stories about different things, whereas you felt if that was United or Liverpool that won those three trophies, we'd be all over the paper. Do you know why that is? Supply and demand. People want to read about Manchester United and Liverpool. Nobody cares about City. Saw Pogba make the spiritual journey to Mecca as well with Kurt Zuma. Here he is, probably the most stylish guy there out of the thousands of people that were there. Do you reckon he was the only person at Mecca with a Gucci bag? I think so, possibly, but yeah. Uh, happy Ramadan to anyone celebrating, by the way. Marshall's on his holidays as well. I'm dying to say it. Producer Nick doesn't want me to say it, but I'm going to say it. It's Toto Africa, isn't it? Do 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 I hear the drums echo in tonight. New kit rumours as well. Uh, we've seen this rumoured away kit for next season. Looks like something my dog threw up at three o'clock in the morning. I don't even have a dog. I don't even have a dog. What are we talking about? Don't like it though. It's not very nice. I don't know. Just a bit. Mm. Better than that abomination we had the other season. Do you remember that when we said, uh, when, come on, Nick, better than what we had the other season. Do you remember when we had the vote and we said that fans could vote 
on which third kit we would wear for the coming season. And it was like the biggest abomination of a shirt ever that came out the back of it. In fact, speaking of rubbish United shirts, can't even give them away at the minute, can we? We got sent this video from Nairobi in Kenya. Look, can't get rid of the shirts. Everyone runs off. Watch this, it's great. <laughs> Makes me laugh how quickly they run away. It's like it's cursed or something. <laughs> no chance. Not touching it. Not touching it. Also, you know, we've mentioned how surprised we are that Paul Scholes is on Instagram. I'm not complaining about it. I'm just surprised about it. However, the content we're getting from there is top notch. Um, so Paul Scholes was commenting, essentially providing a running commentary of a night out with his wife recently. And it's good stuff. He's just saying all the stuff that us lads think on dates with our missus that we can't say. So like he's taking a picture of the food that she's got and just put, what the fuck? <laughs> Sounds about right, yeah. Uh, on there, he's just got a picture of her looking really sad, looking down at her plate. Don't think she liked it. Obviously taking the mitt because the whole plate's clear. And then the best bit at the end, after she's finished all of her courses, he's put, looks like I'm having to roll this home. Love it, Scalzi. It's great content. Love it. Although he's missed the bit where you've ordered some food and she's ordered her own food, yet she still thinks what's on your plate is hers. I, I hate that, I hate that. It's my biggest pet peeve. Like, order an extra plate of chips. It's not that difficult. Oh yeah, big news. We've not had a great season, have we, at Man United? But we can confirm that we are the champions. Yes, back to where we belong. Top of the table, we are the champions. Grounds team of the year champions, 2018 to 19. Absolutely buzzing about this one. Tell you what though, that explains why none of the players did much running this year, innit? We wanted to keep the pitch in tip top condition so they could win the trophy at the end of the season. I mean, probably the only one we had a chance of winning, to be fair, innit? But uh, yeah, grounds team of the season, championes. What worries me, right, is it's, it's producer Nick here who does the edit of this video and I can see him in the corner of my eye now getting a clip and I don't know why he's doing it, but I know he's including it in this video and I don't like it. <laughs> what worries me, right, is it's... it's. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything um you know what i i don't want even want to mention this because i don't want to give it any more any more any more any more you you want and you know what, I don't even want to mention this because I don't want to give him any more attention than he's already got, but did you see what McCullough did? Played a game at Old Trafford and scored this goal. I, God, I hate that honestly. <laughs> it's pure bitterness, it is pure bitterness, but can you imagine being able to say you've scored a goal like that at Old Trafford? Thank you. So genuinely, when I'm here talking about what some ex-player has done on Instagram. McCall is playing football at Old Trafford. Why have I got the bad side of this deal? Like, why? Am I not as important as Adam McCullough? No, I suppose I'm not, actually. Mm, I've got a blue tick. I play football at Old Trafford. Mm. Yeah, you know what, actually, right? Since, I spoke, since I've mentioned how much I hate that rumoured away kit, let's talk about the actual official kit for next season. Because it's a homage to the 1999 team, which obviously won the treble. And on the sleeves, I'm sure you've already seen this, but they've got the times in which Sheringham and Solskjaer respectively scored their goals. So it's going to be really fun. United playing next season with a shirt dedicated to a Champions League winning team in the Europa League. Honestly. Banter FC, honestly, Banter FC. In fact, right, speaking about Europa League, you'll like this. Manchester United are playing in the same competition as Cardiff University. This is true. Cardiff University have qualified for the Europa League. 
That is the level that we are on right now. I, I, how is a university qualified for the Europa League? Ranked 96th, was it? 96th worst university in the country. Crazy, mind boggling, but there we go. Oh, I wish I could go back in time 10 years, honestly. Do you remember? Do you remember life in 2009? Oh, it's great, wasn't it? I miss 2009, man. United were good. Beyonce, Single Ladies was the biggest song in the world. Oh, happy days. Now, we couldn't get through this week at Man United without mentioning it, but Phil Jones has done something to his hair. Now, you remember a couple of weeks ago on This Week at Man United, I said this. If Phil Jones scores before the end of this season, I'll shave my head. Yeah, so obviously he didn't score, so I didn't lose the bet. Looks like he lost the bet though, doesn't it? <laughs> What? Why? Why has he done this? What? What is he playing at? I, I was about to say he doesn't suit it, but to be fair, I can't think of an haircut that Phil Jones would suit unless it's something that covers his face. Has his mum done this for him or something? I, I, why dye your hair grey, Phil? I'm, not, I'm never making another bet on this channel because against Huddersfield, he nearly scored, and I, I've never cheered when a United player missed a shot, and I did then. I was like, thank the Lord. I don't have to shave my head. He just has to make his grey. <laughs> so that was this week at Man United. If you see something on social media which makes you go, eh? or makes you laugh, or makes you cry, uh, feel free to send it to us at Full Time Devils on Twitter. You know where to find us everywhere else. Instagram. Uh, we've got merch, apparently. You can buy that. All the details for that below. And uh, get in the comments as well and tell me about all the stupid things that you've seen throughout the week. I want to know about it. And I'll catch you next week on this week at Man United. I, uh, I'm if Liverpool have won the Champions League, I'm not doing it next week, just so we're all aware of that. I'm not turning up. I'm, I'm hibernating for two months in North Wales. That's where I'm living, on a farm somewhere. Marvellous. Do, 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 do. And then you'd have another one of me going... I hear the drums echo in the night. Gaz drink water remix. Do 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 do